His Excellency the Fifth. Together with the uh, delegation, Nanyini wa Wenyeji, Amjambo. I don't want to take a long time. Lakini ni meona leo tumekuja juu ya azimio. Na azimio ni mungano wa coalition of the willing. Zile chama zote, Kanu, Waipa, na Kenya, ODM zote. Because that is a movement that will liberate our country. Na hiyo movement ilipoanza, ile ambao mimi ni meona na wale wengi wa meona, ni matusi kwa viongozi wetu, and what I would call management by tantrums. Ile ambao mweshimua uhuru, mweshimua raila wanapata ni hiyo matusi na tantrums. You cannot lead a country using tantrums. A country requires humility. And I keep saying this and I'll say it again. The fifth has displayed humility. Moy detained him and he worked with Moy. Kibaki and Yalisema Kibaki Tosha Baadae, akachujwa, na warudi, wakasalimiana. When the country was divided between him and Uhuru, they shook hands. Because the fifth believes that the country is greater than individuals. The diaspora is an important economic pillar. And you continue supporting in many ways, supporting the families back at home by sending money by making sure the economic well-being of your relatives and families back at home is well taken care of. I can tell you part of Baba's 10 points, two of them will actually support diaspora in helping relatives back at home. As you know, you spend a lot of money looking after your relatives medically. Baba's main point on medical is called Baba Care, yeah. which is universal health care for all. And we are supporting that Baba Care. Yeah. Two, he has actually, through a lot of economic input, pledged that he will start a social protection uh, item, program. program, where people who do not have income families will each get 6,000 for a start. Which means that some of the basic things that you have to facilitate your families back at home will be taken care of by the pledge that Baba has pledged. And therefore the money that you will send might be for economic uplifting but not for basic needs which is very important to create economic dependency of the relatives back at home. Now, I want to tell you this. Baba will build the country. The other one will destroy the country. And therefore, if we allow the country to be destroyed, it means you have to work extra hard to look after your relatives. So the choice is very clear. It's between building and destroying. All right? The other important thing is that Baba is in a unique position to be the person who can real start the fight against corruption. You know, wale ukiwapeleka kotini wanafanya maandamano. Washiriki wa Baba wanafanya maandamano free of charge. So they cannot tempt Baba by bringing demonstration. If he was to do it, you do it better. But his is for social justice. So the point I am making is that Baba will help us fight corruption. Now, the other third thing, and I'm about to wind up, is Baba will give Kenya a reset button that we can reset on very many fronts on how to build 
a decent, thriving country. That has all the communities joined together, Bila Ukabi, Bila Ukabila. And I just want to tell you this as I conclude. I've traveled, transversed the whole country with Baba. If you go to the old provinces, northeastern, all the candidates are in Azimio, are supporting Baba. Upper Eastern, Upper Eastern, the same. With Kalonzo's entry last week and with the support of the Ukambani governors, we feel Lower Eastern is locked. The Maasai are supporting Baba. Nairobi town has been Baba's domain all these years. Nyamira, Kisi, Western, Trukana, Samburu are supporting Baba. Ile kelele imekuwa kidogo ni hapo hapo Mount Kenya. Where Baba has never gotten more than 2%. But this time round, I want to tell you, I want to tell you, Baba will not be lower than 50%. And it will be the first time since multi-party came in that you'll have a candidate scoring a very high over 65%, believe you me. Finally, let me ask this of you. I know you've registered as voters here, yes. but I know you have huge influence on your relatives back at home. Yes. It's the time to speak in one voice, yes. to tell them that this time on the 9th of August, yes. we need to elect Baba yes. as the fifth president of our republic yes. so that we can reset that button and liberate Kenya. Thank you very much. Asante sana, asante sana, asante mwesmiwa kiongozi.